Well, here we are at the range, getting ready for our test using the Smith & Wesson 29 4-inch barrel and the Ruger Vaccaro 7 and 3 8 inch, well, let's call it a 8-inch barrel. Essentially, the barrel twice as long on the Ruger as on the Smith & Wesson. We'll be shooting at that target 25 feet away. Let's see how it goes. You know, I should mention that these rounds that I'm shooting are reloads, and they're really identical compared to uh, one another, except for the bullet that uh, is being used. They have the exact same powder charge, the exact same primer, the same uh, brass, and in fact, even the same combined overall length. Now here we're looking at the Hornady. It's 44 mag, 240 grain bullet being fired from the Smith & Wesson. Uh, model 29. Now again, staying with the Hornady, now we're shooting the Ruger Vaccaro, essentially double the length of the barrel, really a 7 and 3 8 inch barrel. Now this is a lot better shooting. Look at this group that's coming out there. Okay, now we're switching to, uh, again, the Ruger Vaccaro, and now we're shooting the Sierra Sportsmaster, again, a 240 grain bullet. And look at this, it's becoming one ragged hole at 25 feet. Then still, again, the Sierra Sportsmaster and firing the uh, Smith & Wesson Model 29. Well, there we have it. A couple things I learned today. Number one, having a longer barrel on a revolver handgun does clearly make a difference. We'll get some measurements on extreme spread on all these things and see how it really panned out. But just at a glance, it looks pretty clear that the Ruger Vaquero with essentially an 8-inch barrel shot much more accurately, precisely, than the Smith & Wesson with the shorter barrel. Now that's not saying that Smith & Wesson is an inferior gun to Ruger. They're both high-quality guns. What it's really saying is that that longer barrel does pay those dividends. The other thing I've learned is that, at least for these two guns, uh, they seem to like those Sierra Sportsmasters better than they like the uh, Hornady XTPs. That's a little bit of bad news for me because the Horn uh, because the Sierra Sportsmasters are a little bit more expensive bullet than the XTPs, but uh, not a whole lot different. Pretty cool stuff. We'll get some measurements on this and share this with you at the end of this video.